Hi everybody, Ben Cull from SSW here, and I'm here to give you a really quick tour of the new uh, Visual Studio Team Services extension for SSW Time Pro. So let's go check it out. The first thing you're going to do is take a look at our page on the uh, marketplace in visualstudio.com. Go ahead and install this plugin into your instance, and you'll be sent over to our homepage at sswtimepro.com. Once you've arrived here, you can jump straight down to the bottom and go ahead and click Get Started. And what that's going to do is it's going to fire up a new instance of your very own of TimePro. You'll get your own subdomain. And once you've done that, you'll be able to log in like so. And this is the homepage you'll arrive at. You can see here I've made bencull.sswtimepro.com. And this is what your dashboard kind of looks like. But what we're interested in is what happens in visualstudio.com. So let's jump over to my visualstudio.com account. And the first thing you'll notice with our extension is you get a new hub group at the top here called TimePro. We're going to go and click that. It's going to do some checks and then it's going to say, hey, you haven't really configured your account yet. Let's jump over to the admin page. So again, just in the default collection administration screen, you get a new tab for SSW TimePro. I'm going to go ahead and log in using uh, bencull.sswtimepro.com. I'm going to throw in the details I uh, used when I signed up to SSW TimePro. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And there we go. I'm logged in as Ben Cole. So I can close that tab and I can come back here and I can uh, refresh this particular hub. And the first thing it's going to do is say, hey, one more thing. Jump over to the project settings tab, which is just here. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie a project in TimePro to this particular project here in Visual Studio Online. Now what it's important to do is uh, come into your admin section in TimePro, go ahead and add a client, a project, and an iteration. This is going to be the information that Visual Studio ties to, so it knows uh, where to put the timesheets. So I've gone and used test1 as my project ID in TimePro. I'm just going to click this guy, and you can see if, uh, if it's found the project, you'll get a green light. So now we'll jump back to timesheets, and here's where the real magic begins. I'm going to log in this time as myself. So if you have a team of multiple developers, uh, once they reach this particular timesheet screen, they'll be able to log in as themselves, so their timesheets automatically uh, go against their own user. And you can see down here I'm logged in as the admin. All right, now a couple days ago I made a bunch of check-ins, so I'm going to go back to there and you can see them here on the right-hand side. It's as easy as saying how many hours you worked, maybe some cool notes, cool notes, and just tick the uh, check-ins and the work items that you worked on that day. I'm going to check in the top two ones here. I'm going to say save. We get timesheet complete, and that is just how simple it is to get your timesheets in. And just to show you what's happened, I'm going to refresh this particular um, timesheet dashboard, and you'll be able to see that on the 16th now we have timesheets done. And that's a really quick look at our extension and how easy it makes uh, adding timesheets as a developer. Uh, if you'd like any more information, you can hit us up at sswtimepro.com. Otherwise, check out SSW uh, TV, which is at tv.ssw.com, for some great tech videos and more information about TimePro as well. Look forward to you in future videos. See ya.